Hi guys, Adam from Leighton Vans. Uh, today we're going to do a handover video on this ABT T6. Uh, we're going to show you every little feature of the van and uh, so you can get to grips with, with how everything works. So this van comes with an ABT front end. It's an extremely high spec four motion van. Um, as you can see with the LED lights, ABT front and four motion badge. Um, all the high lines now, uh, they come with the city stop, which is that cut out in the bumper. Um, Low, low speed below 30 mile an hour and uh, the van will stop itself if it thinks you're going to have a collision. That also acts, acts as the adaptive cruise sensor that we'll show you later on. This particular van comes with the 20 inch black Zetos. Um, we have got plenty of other wheels, um, all different colours, shapes that you can choose from. Um, black sidebars and black roof bars on this van as well, which with the ABT front end on a, on a grey van really sets it off. So moving on to the inside of the van, which we can get access to with the twin electric doors, uh, we can see straight away the Bentley grey leather and the two plus one rear seat, which makes putting anything in the back extremely handy. As well, we can see the suede roof lining, which we've added the LEDs in, which again, just operated by a little switch, which makes the cab a lot nicer to, a lot nicer place to be in. We've also got the USBs in the back, which two on each side so the kids can charge plenty of electronic devices in the back. Moving to the front of the van, we've got the comfort dash which gives the van a more car-like feel as opposed to a normal van. Um, also things like uh, a, wine, a bottle cooler, nice, uh, nice tucked away storage, save it being all open. We've also got the two captain seats in this van with the twin armrests. So as you can see there, nice big comfy chairs, lots more room. This van in particular is DSG, which is very popular with our vans. Um, now it's the 204 brake engine, four motion with the seven speed DSG gearbox. Obviously automatic, ever so simple, straight down into drive. When you are in drive, you can knock it across and you have got manual select. So up a gear, down a gear, and you've also got a sport box which will rev the van a little bit higher, uh, change gear a little bit later, etc. This van's got comfort dashboard, which is a lot nicer than the normal van dashboard. Everything's closed away, nice finish, brushed aluminium and everything like that. Uh, one of the good things about it is that everything is hidden away quite nicely and doesn't rattle about because of the, the texture of the materials inside. The glove box has got a nice little cooling vent, so when you've got the aircon on, you can cool whatever's in the glove box down. Um, obviously, you've got this, this compartment here, this one here, a nice little cubby hole there for your phone with a, char with a 12 volt socket inside. Cup holders, again, more cubby space, and a little pocket, little uh, bottle cooler, which fits a bottle of wine perfectly. So now we're going to run through a couple of the buttons inside the cab of the van. So we'll start off on this door. Very top, we've got obviously lock and unlock. We've also got the mirror switch, which, which you can adjust your mirrors with. Heated mirrors for winter, so when they're all frosted up, it takes about 30 seconds for them to clear. And just there, you fold in mirrors. They can also be done on the fob as well. So press and hold the lock button, your windows will go up, your mirrors will go in. Obviously, we've got your two window switches there. And just below there, we've got the uh, the light switch. Obviously, this van's got automatic lights, which leave them on auto. They'll come on when it goes dark. They'll go off again when it's light. But you can manually turn the lights off altogether, which will just leave the DRLs on the daytime running lights. Side lights, which is your daytime running lights. And just leaves, that leaves your lights on altogether. When your lights are on, you can also front fogs, one pull out, Another pull is your rear fog. We'll move on to the steering wheel now. So there's plenty of buttons on here for you to play around with. Uh, this side is the cruise control, um, which this van's got adaptive cruise control, which to see a video of that working alongside the, the side scan, click the link in the description. Um, basically we've got set for your, for, for your speed, resume when it's canceled, the cancel button, um, the distance, obviously with the adaptive cruise, it keeps a steady distance in, from the car in front and uh, basically you can take all your feet off the pedals and, and let the van do its thing. So that's the button for the distance to move that backwards and forwards. Uh, we've also got the main on-off switch for the cruise. 
Just below that, we've got the volume controls for the stereo. Uh, and on the other side, in the same position, we've got the track or station forward and backwards button. Um, just above that, we've got basically all the controls for the multimedia screen in the middle of the clocks, which we've got menu side to side. And then when you're in a menu, you can go up, down, and then obviously OK to select various options. We've also got the uh, the little phone button, which when an incoming call, you can answer with that. And when you've done with the call, you can just put the call down. This is the multimedia screen for the van. Now this controls everything from your radio, your media, so your iPod, your phone, your CDs, to your actual Bluetooth phone, voice control, sat nav, app connect, and all your settings. Uh, now to see a full video on this and how everything works in detail, again, click the link in the description. With this van having electric doors, you've got the option to do it off the key, which we've shown you, and you've also got the option to do it off the buttons in the cab. Now, obviously, left hand door, right hand door, and you've got that in the middle, which you can turn the electric doors off altogether. Uh, just one press of that, and the door will close. We've also got, with this being a four motion van, we've got the traction control button. Now, you can only turn the traction control off in a four motion van. So if ever it's snowy, you get stuck on a muddy field, the traction control will probably hinder you getting out. So knock that off and you'll have no problem. We've also got all the heating controls for the van. Now you've got your temperature, your fan, and your direction. In the two end ones is your heated seat button. So three, seat, three settings on the heated seats. Warm, medium, nearly off, and off altogether. Also got your heated rear window, your air, con air conditioning, and your recirc for the aircon. Again, ever so simple to use, uh, and obviously the heated seats are a nice touch. We've also got another little panel of buttons just over here. Now we've got the stop start, which you can turn off just by the press of a button. Now obviously that will turn the engine off uh, when you start at traffic lights with your foot on the brake, just to save a bit of fuel. You've got your hazard lights, again, just to press the button. Now you've got a parking sensor button, which works really well if you're hitching a caravan up and you want to, you're backing up to the caravan, you're really concentrating on getting the hitch where it needs to be, but you can't, you can't hear for all the parking sensors going off. Touch of that button and that will knock the parking sensors off altogether, or in another instance, we'll turn them on. Next to that is the heated front windscreen, which when you, your windscreen can be solid with ice, 30 seconds that'll have your windscreen clear. Nice little feature on this van is the electric sunroof. So we've just got a manual blind that covers it. And then we have got tilt, which just let a little bit of air in, or you can go all the way and open it up completely, which is a really nice little feature in summer. Just above the sunroof switch, we've got all the, uh, all the cab lights. So you've got two map lights either side, Knock that into the middle and when the doors are open, the lights will come on. Or knock that across again and they will be on all the time. With the electric tailgate, like on this van, it can be operated off of the key. Now, one of the, one of the clever safety features of the, of the electric tailgate is if you back up to something in a car park, shopping centre, anything like that, and you try and open the tailgate with the key, it's not going to open. Now, if you aren't parked behind something and you've got a good gap, if you then open the tailgate, it will open. Now when the tailgate's on its way up, I can stop it. If you're a bit shorter, it means you can press the button again. And then to close it, just one tap of the button and it will go down. More LEDs in this fan. Now we've got the tailgate LEDs, which when you open the tailgate, they will come on automatically and they really brighten the floor up. So if you're loading anything in the back at night, you can see a lot better. Now, again, these come on automatically, but if you want to turn them off, just touch them. Easy as that. There's a separate switch for the LEDs in the low compartment, just behind the tailgate. Flick that switch. Again, like all the LEDs in our vans, if, you left, if you've left them on, one, two, and just turn them off. Another feature of, uh, of all the vans is these tie down points in the rear. Now, this is a short wheelbase, so there's four. In a long wheelbase, you have six because there's an extra foot. Um, 
perfect mountain bikes, skis, anything like that. You can tie them down so they're not falling over and clattering into everything.